all right hi guys welcome and welcome back to the kingdom community we are all brothers and sisters in god's kingdom and across the world in different communities i am raven and god speaks to me through visions and songs and dreams and this video is a part two from the first video that i uploaded so if you have not seen that one go watch it first and then come back to this one okay disclaimer this word is not for everybody we are all in different seasons right so take this word back to god even if it is for you so he can tell you what to further do with it okay all right so the video that i uploaded already was concerning um counterfeits and um they're not really being happy about um god's perfect order and he's bringing kingdom marriages together so this is a part two um he gave me the song won't you do it by corinne hawthorne and i think everybody knows that song but um the lyrics are as follows Ain't nobody stopping my shine. They try to break me, they try to take me out, but I got Jesus on my side. Felt so bad, I thought I would die. But ain't no power stronger than the one that came and laid down his life. And I got mountains to climb. And the enemy, but the enemy can't stop me, cause there's a calling on my life. So when I'm crying, don't last too long, cause he's gonna step in and make it all right. Won't he do it? He said he would. Flash of battles for you, they gonna wonder how you sleep at night. Won't he do it? Ah, yes, he will. Ain't about anybody tell you something different, you know that's a lie. You're going to look back and be so amazed how it turned out. It's only his grace. Won't he do it? He said he would. So I trust him at all times. And then the second verse is, I'm about to lose it again. I'm about to let him know where I'm from. Don't take me there again. I just call him Jesus, my friend. Get me back in line one more time, because he's always listening. Ain't nobody perfect. Everybody's hurting. I need, your I need your whisper, Lord. Save me from my weaknesses, because you're always on time. Come and get your breakthrough, because I'm going to get mine. And then the chorus repeats. And the song is definitely, it spoke to my, to my spirit. It's, it's encouragement, y'all. Um, That last word... It wasn't really an easy word just because of the the deafness and the, the seriousness of it, you know? So this is just be encouraged. Like like I said in the song, they're going to wonder how you sleep at night. Let God, let God lead you, okay? And something that Holy Spirit was uh, telling me was like, y'all please take heed to whatever God tells you to do. Let him lead you and guide you. Don't fear, don't fret. Don't act out in your flesh. Don't fear. Listen and act accordingly, okay? Let him lead you and guide you. Weapons will form, but they will not prosper against us, okay? Spiritual warfare, we all know, is there. That witchcraft is out there. We know it's there. But we all have the power and the authority that God gave us to stand tall against enemies. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. He gave us the power. We got the power. Stand tall against these dark forces, y'all. Um, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, one thing he definitely wanted me to stress was don't just watch prophetic words and not take them back and then not follow through with the instructions. Whether the instruction is to start decreeing and declaring, whether the instruction is to just go into your prayer closet and start praying, you know, don't just watch this and not take heed and just not follow through with action. Okay, because then you can be so no wonder why. Well, why? Well, Lord, how come? How come he told you to start acting now? This is about new territories and where we're going. Okay, know where you're walking into. When you go into a new territory, you should be able to be like, ah, demons, y'all can go ahead and go already because this is my territory and God reigns here. Okay, you aren't even welcome. You aren't even welcome. Okay, and one thing that I've learned is that God won't always stop what's coming, okay? We can plead, we can cry, we can beg, but he won't always stop what's coming. However, he always puts us in a position where we know what's coming and he prepares us for it, okay? 
I learned that from um, Apostle Grace from Balanced Believers Ministries. I'm going to link that down below. Y'all, he is an amazing teacher, preacher, okay? Y'all want to know more about the times that we're in and work of the Holy Spirit? Please go watch him. I'll put it down below. Um, Another thing is, whatever God tells you to do, do it. Even if it sounds weird, even if it look weird, do it. Because God knows all, he sees all, he hears all, and he saves us from so much that we don't even know about, okay? Another thing is, don't try and reason with demons, okay? Don't be trying to sit up here and rationalize and be logical in your mind. Well, maybe, no. Demons don't rise, they, 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 don't, they don't do it with us, don't do it with them, okay? Um, another thing, warning comes before destruction. If y'all listen to these words and don't take heed and don't listen, do not be surprised on the other end when you're on the other end of, of that destruction. Okay? That's something that God's his spirit was heavy about. Take heed, take heed. Warning comes before destruction. Say again, warning comes before destruction. Take heed. Listen to what he is saying. We're not better than him. Okay? His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He knows everything. Listen to what he's saying, okay? And, yeah, like I said, Abba is not playing, okay? This is not a season that he's playing, okay? Take it serious. Take it serious. Take it serious. And, y'all, yeah, as easy as it is, we have to remember that we don't fight flesh and blood. The fight is not with flesh and blood. It's with the adversary, the enemy, and his goons. So... When you're in warfare, remember that. It's not about the person that's right there. It's about the what's behind them, okay? And so it's not worth it. Don't get out of character. Don't be petty, okay? Don't get all in your flesh trying to act all self-righteous. Think you got to bite yourself because you don't. Let him lead and guide you through this. Okay, let him lead, let him guide. Take it serious, but don't fear, don't fret because he got it. He got us this far. He ain't going to leave us now. And the scripture that he gave um, piggybacks off of the scripture from the first video, which is Isaiah chapter 43, verses 4 through 5, uh, verses 10 through 13, Psalms chapter 21, verses 11 through 13, and Psalms 34, verse 4. Okay, y'all. This is just an encouraging, encouraging word, but also still, don't fret. Because again, won't you do it? Won't you do it? Um, take this word back to God. Like I said, this is a part two from part one. So please watch the watch the first video, then come back and watch this one. All right. God loves y'all, and so do I. God bless.